Hello, my name is Paul Stamper. I'm an English scholar specialising in landscapes and gardens. I've picked out two examples to show you, one a printed book, the other a manuscript item. The printed book is a collection of 36 views of country houses in Kent in the southeast of England, produced in 1719 by uh, a very skilled artist called Thomas Baddeslade. Now these are very innovative because Baddeslade developed a technique borrowed from French and German draftsmen to lift himself above the landscape to produce a portrait of it, something that of course owners could never see. And here at Boughton Court we see the house with to one side the formal gardens in the French style, to the other side we've got the productive garden where the vegetables and fruit were grown. Moving outwards we've got the other elements of the country estate, we've got the orchard, the fish ponds and also the deer park just there where stags and deer would be hunted and beyond the Kentish countryside. So a wonderful, wonderful snapshot of a particular estate in Kent in the early 18th century, one of 36 which feature in this book. The other item is by contrast hand-drawn uh, and it was produced by Humphrey Repton who was England's leading landscape improver in the late 18th and early 19th centuries. He was an immensely energetic man. Uh, he also had a sales gimmick, and that was his red books. About 400 of these were produced in his lifetime, and 200 or so survive, of which four are at Oak Spring. When Repton went and looked round in this state, he thought about how it could be improved, how the old-fashioned formal landscape, such as we saw in Kent, could be brought into the, the modern taste, as exemplified by his predecessor, Capability Brown, the rolling English parkland. So in these red books, Repton, in his own watercolours, showed you how the landscape looked at present, the approach avenue to the house, and then with these crafty flaps, he'd pull them back to the client and show you how the landscape could look if he was brought in to improve it in the modern taste. We've got eight or ten different elements of the landscape introduced, and then finally, we've got the conclusion, there is your parkland at the moment, very beautiful anyway, but if you employ me, it could look even better. For instance, with this great sheet of water running through the ground, resembling a great river. So, one of four Humphrey Repton Red Books in the Oak Spring Library collections and just a taster for its wonderful resources.